Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac and today we're going to talk about the first day of official testing that just wrapped up in Sepang. Now before we get into it, here is how they finished. Jorge Martin set the fastest lap time from Pedro Acosta, Fabio Quadraro, Fabio Di Gentonio, Enea Bastanini, Maverick Vinales, Alex Marquez, Marco Basecchi, Mark Marquez, Johan Zerko, Alex Rins, Brad Binder, Alicia Spagro, Joan Mir, Miguel Oliveira, Peko Banyaya, Luca Marini, Jack Miller, Cal Crutchlow, Taka Nakagami, Augusto Fernandez, Raul Fernandez, and Michele Piro brought up the tail end of the field. Now, majority of manufacturers brought their 2023 bikes as well as their 2024 bikes, except for Honda. Honda have chosen only to use the 2024 bike with Johan Zarco saying that the, the difference that he felt between the 2023 bike and the first version of the 2024 bike was about seven tenths of a second. They do have some upgraded stuff to try this week. So it will be very, very interesting to see exactly how Honda get on. I know it doesn't look like it in the timesheets, but again, it is just testing. So they are running through a test program. Ducati, um, majority of the riders on Ducati started out on 2023 bikes today, especially in the morning. They were getting their eye back in because a lot of them didn't have the opportunity to test in the shakedown test. So again, day one, I wouldn't necessarily be looking at lap times too deeply because at the end of the day, um, they're mainly using 2023 stuff. In the afternoon, if they had time, they were going to start focusing on the engine and maybe some aero stuff. But I would think they will focus on the engine. Aero should come out tomorrow. But we will find out as there's no live television coverage of it. So it's hard to see just from pictures. But the pictures I've seen as of now, they didn't use any aero updates. Um. Yamaha, again, Yamaha are back to backing the 2023 bike and the 2024 bike. Uh, one of the major things that they're currently working on is that the new 2024 bike does have a lot of chatter. So uh, they're trying to um, dial that out, let's just call it. Aprilia, they're under the gun a small bit. They've had to build 10 bikes in the past few weeks. I still find it very, very weird that uh, Raul Fernandez is on a 23 chassis. Um, I believe he's on the 2024 engine, but a 2023 chassis as they were building complete new bikes anyway. Why would they um, not share the, the 2024 spec with him? There's something really weird going on. He did have a big off. Raul Fernandez did beat him himself up. It's a bit pretty much uh, an egg beater of a crash if i'm honest so i'd expect him to be a little bit uh throw off the pace uh, for the next 24 hours or so anyway until the body loosens up from the crash um again ktm we didn't see much in terms of aero from them um but again they have an awful lot of stuff that they do want to test and and you know kind of in the same kind of spec as ducati i don't think that we're really going to see their full aero until later on i do think it's going to take some time but you know if i was looking at the leaderboards you know some of the ones that stick out at me from today's results peko banyaya down in 16th place eight tenths of a second off which is Probably not ideal, but again, we know that they're working on engine settings rather than hunting for lap times. He did set his fastest uh, lap on lap 45 of 52 completed. Uh, Augusto Fernandez got a good few laps in uh, as well. Down 1.5 seconds off uh, Martin's time, but again, he said his last, his second last lap of 63 or 64 was his fastest lap. Miller as well is down a little bit low, but again, saying that he set his fastest lap early, which leads me to kind of believe that he wasn't actually doing a a fast run. Maverick Vinales set his fastest lap on lap 59 of 60. So again, he did put in a soft tire and have a go, it would be my, my reckoning. 
Mark Marquez had a pretty quiet day, did set his fastest lap in lap 45 or 47, so kind of leads me to believe again that he did have a go or a soft tyre run. Um, similar enough with uh, Alex Marquez, lap 44 of 50, he did set his fastest time. Overall, day one of testing is in the books. You know, it kind of went according to what I would have believed. Um, if I'm honest, you know, I am a little bit shocked that uh, Pedro Costa is 1.3 seconds ahead of Raul or of Augusto Fernandez. Sorry, you know, I didn't expect that gap. But in saying that, Augusto hasn't had as much running as Pedro has. So, uh, you know, tomorrow will be a big day to try and close that gap and get going. But I definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think so far of the official day one of the Sepang? test definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and i'll be back again tomorrow with another video